Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at the Double Tree Hotel today for the Rich and Boxing charity boxing event. With me, I've got, shall I say, former boxer now, Mr. Ryan Rhodes. All right, right? Yeah, I'm happy with that former boxer. Yeah, I could go with that. Yeah. Is it quite a sound, a strange sound hearing that? It is. I'm not used to it a minute. I'm very, I'm really not used to it a minute. But I suppose it'll take a little bit of time until I get used to it. But yeah, I, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Tonight we've got Adam Etches in action as well as Scott Jenkins. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you think about Adam and how, how he's developing? Yeah, two great prospects. Uh, Adam Etches, I think he's sold the majority of the tickets tonight. Scott Jenkins who also is a fantastic ticket seller. You know, these two, these two kids tonight have sold this place out so close to Christmas. They've done so really well. And uh, you know, the two kids what are coming through what are looking really, really good when they're fighting. And uh, hopefully next year they'll be fighting for titles. Sheffield's got a very great history in producing great boxers. Can you see these two boys going on to, to achieve some of the things that you guys have achieved before? Absolutely, without a doubt. And it's not that they've got the talent, they've also got the backing as well. You all got, got to look, turn around here tonight and look. They've sold 300 tickets tonight, so close to Christmas. They've done absolutely fantastic. And not only that, they can fight as well, which which is promoters' dreams that the, the, the fighters can sell tickets and also they can fight as well. What have you been up to since your testimonial dinner? I'm, I'm very sorry I didn't get a chance to come down. It, it was my little boy's birthday on the same day, so do excuse me for that. But how was your testimonial and what have you been up to since then, right? Fantastic night, really, really good night. Good you could make it. Obviously, Coogan made it. Nice one, Coogan. But no, yeah, yeah, brilliant night, really, really good. Uh, just been having time out, uh, really enjoying time of turning up to events like this. I've been invited to so many events over Chris before Christmas and over Christmas. So I'm just making an effort in supporting the Sheffield lads and supporting local Sheffield boxers and turning out to support them. Do you see yourself still being involved in the boxing community? I know you've got your business interests now and other things that you're doing, but you look in great shape. You're still in the gym training and stuff? Yeah, yeah, still training in the gym with Dave. Um, I'm definitely, after Christmas, going to um, apply for my corners license to, you know, help the kids out in the gym and, you know, help them out in the corner and pass on my, my advice. And I think, I think obviously, passing my advice on will help the kids so much. I've got so much advice to pass on and knowledge. I feel I've fought at every level there is to fight at and I've got so much to pass on. So if I can help a lad come, come through and, and maybe win a title in the future, I've done my job. I think that's a very, very positive thing to say and it's good to see, as I say, ex-professionals who have fought at a high level giving up their time and, you know, just nurturing that talent. Yeah, definitely. And I'm one of them kids who, are, who love boxing. I've, I've, I've been involved in boxing from being six years old. I walked in Brendan Ingalls' gym at six years old. I retired a few months ago at 36 years old. So, you know, 36 years in the game, I've got so much to pass on. And uh, if anybody out there wants any advice, give me a shout. What about the singing career? Can we maybe see a Christmas release of Mustang Sally on the cards right or what? I think that was too many Budweiser's on the night. No, it was a fantastic night. My good friends, Jamie Moore, Will Mallow, Johnny Nelson, Mark Willey. We got the mic, we turned it on, we had a good night. It was just, it was the closing part of the night and what a fantastic closing part. Mustang Sally, baby. Absolutely fantastic. Well, right, I wish you the best of luck with what you're doing. As I say, hopefully uh, come 2013, we might see you maybe with a stable or training some young fighters, giving up some time, that'll be, be fantastic. You'll see me in the corner, you'll see me in the gym training young lads or helping out with the young lads at the gym. So I'll be involved somewhere. Fantastic. So we'll have yourself a very good Christmas. Thank you for talking I from London and uh, we look forward to enjoying a bit of Sheffield. Absolutely. Happy, happy Christmas to everybody at I from London. Peace. This is James Holder with Ryan Rhodes for I from London. Thank you very much.